They say that when a spring snaps tight, it can actually cancel out gravity, letting it hover in midair for a short moment. This strange effect is known as gravity resistance. To put it to the test, Adam started with a baseline experiment using iron rods and springs of the same length. When he checked the footage on a high-speed camera, he couldn't believe what he saw. Right after the spring was released, the bottom end didn't move at all. It just floated there for a solid 207 milliseconds. That got him wondering, what if he changed the weight of the spring? To make sure the results were accurate, he built a custom release device so two springs could be dropped at the exact same time. The results were clear. The spring with a tennis ball attached stayed in the air longer. Turns out, adding weight is the key to more hover time. To push the theory further, they swapped out the spring for a rubber band and tied a bowling ball to one end. That setup only hovered for 100 milliseconds. Next, they tied bowling balls to both ends. This time, it lasted 116 milliseconds, just enough to confirm the theory. So Adam went for the ultimate test. They rigged up a two-ton car with heavy-duty bungee cords, lifting it 10 feet off the ground. When the cords were released, the car hovered for 95.2 milliseconds. But then came the big twist. They placed a water tank, equal in weight to the car, on top of the bungees. With a thunderous crash, the tank slammed into the car. This time, the car hovered for an incredible 146 milliseconds. The experiment proved it. Adding weight can extend hover time. Sure, it only lasts for milliseconds, but it shows that elasticity can be used to fight gravity, at least for a moment. Whether it's something tiny or massive, as long as you add extra weight, hover time will increase. That's because elasticity stores energy when stretched or compressed, and when it's released at maximum tension, it delivers a powerful upward force.